That was a disaster. No way, nope. Mm -mm. Not today, Santa. a Monday. What is happening with your... We just gotta get it together, sir. I know. It's Monday. It's happening. But it's okay. It's alright. Because we got our coffee. We got our Starbucks. We got it. We had rewards. So we got it for free. Here we go. Let's go cruising. We had to reconnect our entire... Uh, take the battery out. Reconfigure the entire camera. And we're back. We're back. I don't know what we caught, what we didn't catch, because the whole thing froze, but we're continuing on. We're not gonna let it get us down, are we, Mr. Skeleton? Anyways, I don't know if we missed talking about where we were going, but we are going today. We're going to at home, which is where we're going right now. Then we're gonna cruise over to, where else? Oh, we're gonna run into Michael's really quick to see if they put any new stuff out. And then, oh God. I'm staying back, okay? 300 feet. I get it, truck. No, you're moving at a snail's pace. I don't know where we all cut out, but I think I was saying, though, that we found Mr. Skeleton's hat uh, in the basement, and it's a little oversized. So I don't know if I need to be trying a child size hat or what we need to do with Mr. Skeleton's hat, but we might have to do an Amazon situation and make it work. So I don't know. To be continued with the Santa hat, but for now, we're making Gothamist happen. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you're new here, welcome to our holiday decor hunting. I almost said Halloween. You know I did. Hollow day decor hunting. <laughs> our holiday decor hunting extravaganza. Here we are. What I kind of do is we cruise around town and we go looking for holiday decor. Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever's out there. Winter, just general winter decor. We're looking for it. Um, so I show a little bit of everything that's out there, and I also talk about the stuff that I'm looking for, which is mainly goth mysticore stuff. Not, it's not really, I mean, it's more of just a dark aesthetic Christmas is what I'm looking for. Although I've thought about dabbling in the jewel tones, like the deep jewel tones, not just the, um, like the bright jewel tones, more of like deep greens and purple, like plum colors and stuff like that. Ow, 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 it's hot. What the heck? <laughs> well, that's what we kind of do around here. We chit chat on the way, but I, I'm feeling good today. I had the whole weekend to get some stuff done that I wanted to get done and I feel really good and energized. I was able to recharge and just <sighs> take a breath after that whole Halloween season. So we were able to kind of replace all of our fire detectors in the house this weekend. We just did a bunch of stuff that we've been putting off and that's a bunch of boring adulting stuff, but we did it. We had some time to watch some scary movies, which is like our thing, which by the way is a perfect leeway. You know it is into the sponsor for today's video, which is Shudder, which if you've been around here for a while, then you know that Shudder is my favorite streaming service because it's a streaming service that revolves around all things spooky. Nothing gets me in the creep miss or goth miss spirit like a bunch of spooky movies. Oh gosh, here comes the pothole. Hello, pothole. It's been a while since we've seen you, old friend. Anyways, Shudder. This is our time of year. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but it is like when it gets chilly out, all I want to do is curl up in a ball and a bunch of warm blankets with my dogs and Dallas and just watch a bunch of spooky movies. I feel like I almost watch more spooky movies during the holiday season than the Halloween season just because the weather, like like during the Halloween season, I want to be out doing some stuff or I'm just, you know, wrapped up filming and editing and decorating and all that. But this time of year, all I want to do is sit around and watch spooky movies. And if you haven't heard of Shudder before, Shudder is a horror and thriller streaming service. So it's basically a streaming service with all kinds of spooky content. It's amazing. It's one of our favorite things in the whole world. Shudder has anything from horror classics to blockbuster hits to cult horror movies. They have all sorts of genres, anything from slasher movies to creature features to uh, supernatural horror, they have sci-fi, they have psychological thrillers. They also have documentaries, docu-series, TV series. They have basically any horror 
genre you can think of. And they also have their own Shutter exclusives, which is one of my favorite parts. So horror content you can't find anywhere else. They put out new stuff all the time. Also, if you like a spooky holiday vibe, then you're gonna love the Ghoul Log. Anytime I talk about Shutter, I always talk about the Ghoul Log because it's one of my favorite things. It's basically like a Yule Log, but it's a Ghoul Log. And they have a couple different ones and they all have a different vibe. The Ghoul Log always has a way of bringing my soul, my spirit, back into my body. <laughs> so I'm so excited to watch a bunch of stuff. There's so much new stuff on Shutter right now. Seance, The Medium. Uh, I want to watch the new season of Dragula and Creep Show. we need to catch up on. It's one of our favorite platforms. So, so anyway, Shutter is normally $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year. But right now you can try Shutter free for 30 days. If you go to Shutter.com and use the code Jade, that's J-A-D-E. So to get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content with Shudder's expertly curated collection, including must-see titles like Vicious Fun, The Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman, a personal favorite of ours, uh, plus all the best horror documentaries and hit Creepshow TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead. You can try Shudder free for 30 days if you go to Shudder.com and use the code Jade, that's J-A-D-E, uh, and you can get yourself 30 days free. Uh, let me know in the comments what you've been watching on Shudder, anything that I need to be watching this time of year since we're going to be watching all of the things. Let me know in the comments. So anyways, definitely check out Shudder if you love any sort of spooky content or if you know anybody, it is the holiday season. If you know anyone who loves spooky content, Shudder is definitely one to put on the list. Anyways, we're going to take one more sip of coffee and we're going to run into at home. We're here, me and Mr. Skeleton, which people have already been driving by real slow staring at him because you know he's you know in a Santa hat so we're here hopefully we're not getting hit by a car my dear lord that was a nightmare worst nightmare gotta stay on brand spooky people <laughs> wow so, okay, that was a total nightmare in there. First of all, there were a lot of people in there looking at Christmas stuff. So I probably walked down each aisle a hundred times because I don't like to be, like I try to take my time and film stuff, but I don't like to be in people's way and be like filming when they're actually trying to look for decor. And but there were a lot of people in there. So I had to get some of the clips really quick. So there will be a lot of pausing on each item. So if you think that your TV or your computer or your phone is lagging it's not lagging I'm pausing the clips because I was only able to get them for just a second because people were up and down the aisles in better news I did see some stuff that we could talk about they had a lot of the same type of themes as last year like they had the holiday hoedown which is all kind of farmhousey lodgy plaid and stuff like that there was the holiday hoedown and there was the uh, check something it was like a checkered, like buffalo print. Both were very farmhousey slash lodgy looking. So I'll kind of show them together because I think they're gonna overlap as I'm talking about them. But they had things like woodsy things, woodsy signs, like with like actual wood, wood grain stuff, wood grain, even like LED candles. They had lots of pine cones and um, evergreen things, lots of that kind of stuff. A red truck with you know, pine cones sticking out or little evergreen sprigs sticking out of the back. Uh, Santas that had different rustic looking things going on. Uh, a couple of black items in the check, whatever that check thing was, theme was. They had a, a couple of black houses where the windows lit up and they had, it was like a tall one and a shorter one. They also had some black reindeer that looked really cool, but they were all broken. All the antlers were broken off, uh, so that was sad, but had like something around the neck, like some sprigs. But lots of black and white buffalo print. I also think they had black and red. I want to say they had some cone trees that were in the check print and uh, lots of different 
the all of the ornaments instead of showing each and every little tiny ornament i kind of just showed the whole wall of ornaments so you could see what it looked like uh, because there was just like a whole wall of all these different ornaments and they had so many different things that getting each individual one was gonna take a long time i saw that they had the romance line again this year which is kind of their victorian looking line lots of pinks and fuchsias and golds they had some ornaments in this area and a couple of things i want to say some angels and some deer and some stuff like that they didn't have as much stuff as usual that area got really either picked over or is just small to begin with this year and it was like feathery and light pink and gold and they had some signs i think it was something that said merry christmas and like tabletop decor kind of stuff you have these really once again more creepy elves in the little pink outfits but lots of that light pink it's a really really pretty line if you want to watch last year's to look at this line it was beautiful because you know this at home may look different than yours this one is very busy all the time really picked over so if you have one that a lot of people don't go to a lot then you you still might have stuff where this didn't have anything it was very picked over in this area um also didn't see anything they had like a jeweled line all i saw was like a little area of ornaments everything else was picked over i don't know if there was any other decor that was supposed to be out in this line but there was nothing there it was just ornaments from this jeweled line but it was more of like a peacock colors so turquoise and blues and those types and golds kind of stuff in this little area but they also had the fao schwartz line again this year this one actually had stuff in it not a whole lot but actually had some stuff to see they had this really cool santa bust that i thought was interesting not necessarily for my decor it wouldn't really fit in but it was really cool i think for if you do santa or reds or anything like that I had some cute ornaments little little tiny ones for little trees they had like little uh balloon animal ornaments and like little reindeer and little disco balls like a couple little cute stuff uh, in these little uh ornament section they had a lot of tabletop decor in this area. I think they had a train. They had some houses or maybe it was just one house that was kind of like a Santa's workshop looking thing where the windows lit up. Um, they had some Santas here. They had some wall decor with different Santas on them that said Merry Christmas or, you know, all the different stuff. Lots of Santa, Santa's workshop, um classic Christmas kind of stuff black and red and gold which a lot of that FAO Schwartz stuff does that's kind of the color scheme and uh lots of stuff like that I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff so I'll just continue to show it they also had an entire elf section that was very elf themed elf ornaments and a lot of peppermint colors so peppermint trees they had a couple of different sizes of the peppermint trees and a couple of different styles i always like those every year they had some of these little you know those little topiary stack things that were red i want to say red and green or maybe they were red and silver or maybe they had both um but they had a couple of those they had just a lot of little elf decor little santa's workshop decor red and green striped or uh peppermint was kind of the whole theme in this little area they had little elf legs little uh elf ornaments little candy canes all that kind of stuff in this area lots of tabletop decor pillows very cutesy kind of stuff um then whenever i'm forgetting in this area there was actually quite a bit of stuff here i'll continue to show i think i want to say there was some wall decor they also had like a mrs claus bakery line that was really cute they had a, had a lot of vintage vibes to it first of all they had this mrs claus that was really cute but also kind of creepy it was like a doll mrs claus doll thing with this apron on with uh candy canes on it and she was holding like a basket of goods i want to say um but then they had some really cute ornaments in this line that definitely had more of that uh vintage feel mid-century modern feel had silver in this kind of lime green and teal color what else do they have uh they had lots of really cutesy little houses little gingerbread looking houses lots of different ones little ones that looked like i don't know if it looked like a cupcake or what it looked like they had one that almost looked like a little trailer and that and all of the windows lit up in all of the different houses and a bunch of different colors bunch of different styles and they had this huge gingerbread house that was like i didn't even see where you could test the light on this one but it was huge it was awesome in person uh it was like a hundred bucks but it was really cool also had little gingerbread trains or little trains little treats in the cars so they had like one that was a train and then it had little macarons i can't remember what the other train was maybe just a gingerbread train but lots of very 
very cutesy stuff, bright colors. They also had a snowed in line and the snowed in line was kind of like the other rustic lines, but this one was more grays and like light wood colors. So like light birchy colors. So it had like more, so it was more kind of silvery and gray and wood natural wood kind of feel to it. So they had not a whole lot left in this line. I want to say they had a couple of trees and then they had a couple of uh, like signs, like little tabletop decor signs, not a whole lot in this area. Then they had a whole little silver area. I can't remember what this one was called, but it, it was all silver and white. It was supposed to be, but it was completely cleared out. I think that was the popular one this year in my area because a lot of the, I figured the farmhouse style would be really popular around here since I live in Kansas, y'all. But, uh, no, it's like the silver and white stuff was really popular this year. But, uh, they had, they still had some wall decor left. A lot of big signs say happy holidays. They had one that had trees on it. Um, they had one that looked like it had glitter inside of it. Uh, so they did have some wall decor still. They had a couple of trees, some glass trees. They had a couple of little owls and little, I want to say polar bears. And then they also had like a polar bear that had like the scratchy look to it. I don't know. This area was so picked over. It was so picked over. I think they had an angel left. Oh, and then they had some silver reindeer and they did have a really big polar bear and some nutcrackers, silver nutcrackers. I think some of this line carried around to the front little, uh, like right when you walk in kind of area. So there was, a, there was a really cool deer, like a large deer that had like a disco ball look to it. It was kind of cool. And then they also had a gold line that had a lot of that kind of stuff. It was called Joy Noel or something like that, or Noel, Joyous Noel, something like that. And it was more golds and crowns and crosses and angels. They did have some gold deer at the bottom area, like some larger gold deer that kind of, kind of like the silver ones. And they had a lot of different like Jesus in the manger and all of that kind of stuff. Angels that crosses lots of, uh, wall decor that was gold. And what else do they have in this area? I want to say they also had some trees and, um, like that. I don't know if they lit up or if they were just gold or I don't know. They also had in a whole separate area, they did have a couple of bathroom stuff. They had some bathroom rug, like a rug and toilet seat set. I think they had a Santa and a snowman, maybe. Um, they also had a couple of different soap dispensers. One was a tree, I think, and the other one, or maybe it was a tree and a truck. Or, But this area was also picked over. They also had an area that was by a designer. I couldn't, and I can't remember who it was. Uh, it was a lot of partridge and a pear tree was kind of the theme of this whole area. So they had a lot of partridges in a pear treeage, <laughs> um, and pears, and it was very kind of peachy looking and sage color scheme. They had a lot of wall decor in this area that said Merry or Merry Christmas, Joy. Um, there was also some classic though, some classic Christmas colors in here, uh, gold and red and green, and there were the and they had gorgeous ornaments in this little area. There were really, really pretty red velvet ornaments that were really cool. If you're doing a Krampus theme or any sort of red theme, peppermint theme, these are really cool. They also had some really pretty kind of jewel tone greens in here. Really, really pretty stuff. They also had a little uh, velvet green reindeer with gold antlers and sleighs. And they had, I think they had like a white sleigh with Santa in it. Ceramic thing with gold accents. They had Santas, they had trees, there were the, there, they had some uh, glass trees with really pretty kind of, I don't know, a design on it or something like that. It, it was kind of, this area was fully stocked. So I'll just continue to show everything in this area because this was the only area I think that wasn't extremely picked over. They had, what else, a bunch of Christmas trees. They had our black flocked Christmas tree, which is our dream Christmas tree every year and we never get it. Um, it's a black flocked Christmas tree with blue lights. I don't know if I knew it had blue lights before, and I don't know if I'm crazy about that. Um, and what else did they have? Uh, they had a bunch of flocked Christmas trees, like regular flocked Christmas trees. They had a rainbow Christmas tree, and what else did they have? Oh, they had this really pretty gold one. It was like a gold tinsel 
Oh, it was really, really pretty. Like a light gold tinsel Christmas tree. They also had these, uh, the blow up things back this year, but not as many as they had last year. Last year, if you remember, they had like arches and penguins and a lot. Like they had so many blow up things. And this year they just had a couple. They had a big snowman. They had the abominable snowman. They had uh, a little Jack Skellington in a Santa outfit. Uh, and a an elf, like the movie Elf. Will Ferrell situation. They had, what else did they have? A Grinch, like a huge Grinch. They did have that. They had, what, did they have a penguin or a nutcracker? Or last year they had a huge nutcracker. Didn't see it this year. Um, and that's pretty much it. It is crazy busy everywhere right now. We're here at Michael's with my dirty window. Maybe we should go get a car wash. What do you think, Santa Skeleton? Santa Skeleton, where's your hat, sir? Oh God, here we go. All right, we're going into Michael's. That was another sad place. We're having a sad day. Holiday decor hunting. I don't think it helps. Oh, everyone keeps laughing at Mr. Skeleton, by the way. Literally every soul. Oh, you know what? Let's go into Kirkland's. That's where we're going to go. We're going to Kirkland's. Let's hit it. <laughs> we're doing it. We're turning this day around. Mr. Skeleton's making it happen with his holly jolly spooky self. Oh, we got to talk about what was in Michael's. <laughs> they had a couple of new things. Nothing really that exciting. They have like a traditional Christmas line that had some traditional Christmassy looking stuff. Darker greens and reds and golds. Uh, they had a couple of nutcrackers. One of them said, like, had a sign that said Happy Holidays, like, was holding a sign that said Happy Holidays. One was, like, a big nutcracker, and there was another one as well. They also had uh, a couple of different signs. I want to say one said Joy. Joy is the big one this year. I see everything says Joy this year. They had, like, a little wreath on a stand thing that said Noel or Believe or maybe both. They had another wall decor piece that I can't quite remember what it said, but it was maybe Merry Christmas. It, a lot of the same sayings that you see a lot of, um, but it was a very traditional looking Christmas gold and green and red kind of situation here. Um, wood, also more wood green stuff, which we're seeing everywhere. Lots of wood. Um, we saw a couple of new things in the little silver and gold line. Some silver trees and little white trees. They were like these little wooden trees, but they were painted and had like sparkles and things on them. And then they also had a couple of nutcrackers. I don't remember seeing these. Maybe I did get these, but I don't remember them. They look a little bit more vintage-y and they have a countdown. They're holding these cubes that say, you know, countdown to Christmas or whatever. And I want to say that's all I saw that was new in that little area or in the whole store. Everything was very sparse once again. Anyways, we're going to go into Kirkland's because why not? All right, we're here at Kirkland's. We're going in. All right, let me find my phone. Mr. Skeleton, we saw all the black stuff. I'm so excited. All right, so we saw some goods. Mr. Skeleton, your hat. Don't worry, I'm in the parking lot. No one's around. Put it on real quick. There we go. Come on, sir. Get it together. It looks like he has a long ponytail. Um, all right. So we saw some good stuff at Kirkland's. The day has turned around, y'all. Let's talk about what we saw at Kirkland's. I would say like 75% of their Christmas stuff in the store that I saw was all black and white and very modern looking. But the first thing I saw when I walked in, I saw these nutcrackers, these black and white nutcrackers. I, and I got all excited because this is the first real sighting of black and white, more modern decor that I've seen. They also had a bunch of black and white pillows with different uh, like Christmas looking trees on. I don't know what you want to call them, but they're, uh, they had a bunch of trees all over them. And they had black and white check ones. They had more stitched looking black and white tree ones. They had uh, a couple other black and white pillows that said something like the most wonderful time of the year or something like that on it. Um, and they had lots of little black and white. Oh my gosh, I got all excited. Uh, they had some cloches that had little lights, LED lights inside of them. They had one that was just like a classic glass cloche. And then they had one that had this little like spindly looking thing at the top, like this little handle thing that looked so, oh my gosh, it looked like a Harry Potter situation. What else did they have in the black and white area? I don't know, I'm all excited now. Oh, they had um, some trees, some wooden trees that were once again very, um, you know, 
phallic. They had uh, some black and white ones in those, and then they also had some wooden ones, uh, like a wooden tree looking thing um, that had more tears to it. Wall decor that had black accents. They had one that said, they had some that said deck the halls. Then there was like um, some big jingle bell things that were in black and white. And they also had a red. They had some ornaments that were little mushrooms, little black and white mushrooms. They also had uh, the little black Noel thing. They, it was just, oh my gosh, they had so much black and white stuff to choose from. I got all excited about it. You had a yellow light, but you know, you slept on it. That's fine. I got a lot to talk about anyways. I don't know if I can recall all of the black and white things. I just know that they looked beautiful. It was beautiful. And they had a bunch of other trees too. They had some things like geometric looking mirrored trees that I think were gold though. Um, but they were pretty too. And uh, just some pretty like candle, like centerpiece things. Um, they had a white and black one, I want to say, and like sagey green one, possibly like flocked looking situation. And then they had one that had more like mistletoe ish looking to it, like more red and green. They also had a couple of farmhouse things, some wall decor, lots of wood kind of accents, wood trees, um, buffalo print or plaid print, flannel y kind of looking stuff. Uh, they also had some gnomes and some with some little striped hats and they had um, and they had a couple of those trucks with the trees coming out of the back. They had um, and then they had a couple of little cutesy Christmas things. Uh, once again, the gnomes could be considered cutesy, but also some little pillows that say believe. I don't know if another one said holly jolly or something like that, but red and green and uh, more like jingly jingle bell rock. I don't know, but that kind of stuff. Uh, and then they had also had a little peppermint plate and little plateware collection that was really cute. It was just peppermint plate stuff. And then I'll continue to show whatever I'm missing here, but they had some really, really, really pretty stuff at Kirkland's. And it was more than just like, I feel like the last several years, they've done a lot of farmhouse stuff, which I get. It's been very popular, but I really, I'm, I'm happy to see any, any line get switched up every year. I re or at least every couple of years, you know what I mean? I like seeing different collections and I, li I like seeing things switched up, you know? Um, but we saw some good stuff today at Kirkland's. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, what are you doing? All right, I almost forgot to do an outfit of the day. I had a little snack, so my lipstick's all messed up. But um, I'm wearing this. It literally it looks like I should be in a coffee shop reading poetry, doesn't it? Anyways, I'm wearing this. It's like a sweatshirt dress, turtleneck situation. It's so comfortable. And it was just the perfect, like it was kind of chilly this morning. So I had a jacket on with it. Uh, just a faux leather jacket. I'll link it in the description box. Now it's in the low 60s, so this is the perfect sweatshirt. I got this from Boohoo a couple years ago, I want to say. If I could find something similar, I'll link it in the description. Uh, but, and by the way, I always link plus as well if I can find it. Um, but yeah, love this. It's so comfortable. It really is an oversized sweatshirt, is what it is. But it looks fancier than that. I'm wearing these same Target leggings. These are my new favorites. And my good old hat this baker boy hat or whatever they call it to hide my roots um but i'm letting my hair fade by the way is kind of what's going on before i bleach it and it's fading nicely this side is almost out completely like it's really fading this side is hanging on for dear life for eyeshadow i'm wearing this uh i was my anastasia palette was in my office because i filmed something with it so i had this old two-faced palette in my vanity it's like a two-faced I think it's called natural eyes or something, but I have it on my eyes. It's so pretty. It was one of my favorite palettes for weddings. My lashes are House of Lashes, uh, iconic light lashes. And I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Grim liquid lipstick. And that's that. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Oh, because I just ran up and down the stairs. That's why. And once again, my allergies. Uh. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, sir. There you go. Oh God. Okay. Where are you going? I'm cruising. Hey everyone! It is oh sorry, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> it's another day holiday decor hunting with me and good old Santa Skeleton 
and today, where are we going today? We've totally changed all of our plans once again. So who knows where the day is gonna take us today. But uh, to start with, we're going to Home Goods. It's early, we're cruising. So we're cruising to Home Goods, and I'm thinking we're gonna cruise over to Ross after we go to Home Goods, then hit another Home Goods. I need to go to Menards, but I might wait till tomorrow morning and just hit uh, Menards and Lowe's tomorrow morning early. And then today we're gonna go to Home Goods because we haven't been in a week, over a week. And we're gonna go to Ross, and then we're gonna hit Target one more time. I was just mainly gonna go get some holiday candy. We're gonna go get Dallas some Reese's trees, and we're gonna go find something for ourselves, right, Mr. Skeleton? And we'll see if they have anything else out, any other Christmas out. And then, is that all we're doing today? I think we're just gonna try to make it a home goods kind of day. Oh, we're going this way, sorry. I've been seeing a bunch of little posts and all this stuff about Walmart having black holiday decor. And I looked online, cause you know, they have all their stuff where you could see if it's available for pickup or if they have it in store. And none of the local locations have any of the black stuff. So I don't know, we may still go to Walmart one of these days, but I feel like I was maybe a little too late on Walmart. I feel like with Walmart and where, where did we go yesterday that was really picked over? Uh, oh, at home. I feel like those are two places we're gonna have to hit early, maybe uh, before Halloween or just after Halloween. I should have already gone. I should have gone to Walmart last week, but you know, I just didn't even think of it. Didn't even think about it. If you go online, they still had a bunch of stuff online. I ordered a couple of things. These really cute black and white nutcrackers. So we're cruising to Home Goods, and I'm mainly at Home Goods. I don't know. We're just gonna take a little gander and see what they got. But really, what I love at Home Goods this time of year, I love their uh, bakeware and stuff, like all their little cookie cutters and pie pans and stuff like that. Like casserole dishes, that kind of thing. So we're gonna look at that stuff today and then we're gonna see if they put out, we haven't been to this Home Goods yet. So, and we're hitting every freaking red light, Lord. It's supposed to be like in the 70s today, like 70 something degrees out. Uh, it's already 63 and I'm wearing a leather jacket. But when I left it said 55, so I never freaking know. It seems to go up really quickly that or my car is always wrong or my phone is always wrong. Somebody's wrong. Anyways, hope you're having an amazing holiday season. <laughs> Bob freaking humbug, right, Mr. Skeleton? Every red light, every single red light. It's happening. Getting closer to home goods. I'm so excited to see what they got. Hopefully they have something, anything. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of picked over places. Kirkland's was really good yesterday, but everywhere else I feel like we've been kind of, um, you know, it's been a little picked over this year. And I know there's also some supply issues and shipping stuff going on. So that could also be, I think that's the deal with Michael's. Um, it doesn't look too bad today. Good. Tis the season to get a real good parking spot. La 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 la. Second row. Woo! We're here, Home Goods. We made it. Mr. Skeleton, you ready? He's crying again. All right, we're going into Home Goods. Here we go. Well, we have a booger alert. Booger alert. Booger alert. Shoot, we were going to run into Michael's, but... <laughs> Oh no, we have black lipstick on our face. This is just getting worse. <laughs> okay, we're going to Ross. Let's get out of here. Oh, we've got a bunch of people backing out all over the freaking place. Pulling in, backing out. What's going on? Just left Home Goods. We saw. I actually really like the selection here. There's not a whole lot, but it was a decent selection. I like it when I can see. It's very different from. Uh, Halloween. With Halloween, I always like it jam-packed. With Christmas stuff, I'm like, oh, this was a very, like, not overwhelming situation. They did have some decor. They had, uh, what is this person doing? They had some trees, some silver trees, some gold trees. They had uh, ceramic trees, and they had cone trees. They had more cones, 
and uh, with glitter and silver and gold and all of the things. They had bottle brush trees. They had all the trees per usual. Um, they also had a couple of Santas that I saw. One Santa was holding a gnome, which was a double whammy. Uh, they had some classic looking Santas. They had uh, other different looking Santas. They had these really, really pretty cake stands that had these snowflakes at the top and they were silver. One was silver and one was gold. They were really pretty. They had snowflakes and metallic and it was really, really pretty. They also had quite a bit of Ray Dunn stuff. They had some Ray Dunn mugs that say Merry Christmas. There was also a Ray Dunn flower sifter that was red and said believe on it. They did have a selection of Ray Dunn stuff at this one, which I didn't see at the other one. And they had Ray Dunn napkins that said Merry Christmas and had Santa on it and stuff. Also had a napkin that had a Christmas tree on it that was a little bit more, like it was a little bit older looking. It was traditional Christmas. It had some dish towels and hand towels that were really, really pretty. Uh, the dish towels, they had a Flemmy the Flamingo does Christmas dish towel. It had Flemmy the Flamingo on it with lights around him. I was all excited, you know I was. I hate to stop in the middle of our conversation about Flemmy the Flamingo, but we're here at Ross, so I'm gonna run in really quickly while it's still early, and then I'll be right back. Just left Ross. Um, we gotta finish Home Goods. We left off at Flemmy the Flamingo. For being honest, I don't even remember all the towels. There's also a whole little baking area that had things like cookie cutters and rollers. They had a couple of Ray Dunn ones. One said, let it, no. Can't remember what they said. <laughs> Tis the season, maybe, on one of them. And uh, I, not let it snow. That was the stuff later that I saw. But they had a couple of Ray Dunn roller things. And then they had some of the ones that leave the indentations. So they had a gingerbread one. They had a tree. I want to say they had a snowflake, but it could have been at the other home goods that I'm remembering. Also had little uh, mixing bowl sets that come with this mixing bowl, whisk, cookie cutters, and a mixing bowl. All in one. They also had some little containers, like little storage containers, holiday storage containers. Uh, it was like a whole little baking area, lots of different holiday... What are you doing? Yo, the holiday drivers are out. They are out and they're not messing around this year. Be safe out there. Tis the season. Bah freaking humbug, right, Mr. Skeleton? <laughs> His face is half covered because he's scared. Anyway, so um, what else did we see? This was all the baking stuff. Lots of really cute baking things. All different themes. Nutcrackers, snowflakes, snowmen. Merry Christmas, Christmas trees. Oh, and they had this whole other little area that had a ton of different spatulas. So they just had a bunch of spatulas and all different themes. They had green ones with trees. They had ones that said Merry Christmas. They had ones that were red. They had all different themes, all different colors of different holiday spatulas. They also had like an oven mitt. It was a really cute peppermint oven mitt with a Santa spatula. It was really cute, but they only had one oven mitt. And I'm not I'm not coordinated enough to only use one oven mitt. I have to use two and two hands. Otherwise, disasters happen. I may or may not have been traumatized by an easy bake oven when I was a child, but anyways, we need coffee. We're going to Starbucks first, then we're gonna go to Home Goods. Maybe we'll go to Home Goods then Starbucks. I don't know, but no one is out today. All the stores have been super dead, which is really amazing. Those are my favorite days. That This is why I like Tuesdays. I feel like some people take Mondays off, but I feel like less people take Tuesdays off is, is in my mind how I'm thinking about it. Oh, all these people. And see, no one is paying attention. Not one soul today driving. It's kind of scaring me. What else do we see at Home Goods? They had a couple of new pillows that I wanted to show. A couple that stood out to me. One was one of those, you know, sequins pillows where when you take your hand and you run it over the pillow, it changes colors or whatever. They also had a couple of really pretty green ones. They had a green one that had Christmas trees, I think, on it. Gold Christmas trees. And then the other one was green that said Fa -la, 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 la in gold as well. And they were really, really pretty. Um, they did have a couple of blankets as well, a Sherpa blanket. They had a couple of other blankets, very Christmassy, red and green. I think one was like a Tommy Hilfiger one with trees on it and very Christmassy, you know, 
Then they did have some dishware. They had the Christmas tree dishware, they had the dinner plates, and then they had the bowls as well. And they had uh, some really pretty wine glasses that had some uh, branchy trees, or were they Christmas trees? I think they were branchy trees on them, like white branchy trees, really pretty. Um, and then a couple other pieces, like a little mini cake stand thing, like a couple of things like that in this area as well. They had a couple of mugs. They had like the stackable mugs. And in the bathroom area, they had a ton of bathroom towels at this one. Like little hand towels. They also had large towels. They had these really pretty gray and like had reindeer. I don't know. It was a really, really pretty towel. Really good quality. So I had some other towels, some hand towels that had um, Santa on them and like a couple other things. There was also a like an off-white one that had red, like a, a red truck on it and a uh, candy cane and it was kind of they were kind of glittery I have a Ray Dunn hand towel that had uh, it was white this was black and white y'all it was white and it had a black snowflake on it and it said let it snow in black there was also a rug that matched the towels that said let it snow they had a red one that said tis the season or let it snow they had they had it in both I believe in the in the red rugs um, but I think I only showed one uh, but they did have some Ray Dunn towels and just some holiday hand towels and that kind of thing. Also had some new soap dispensers, that kind of thing for the bathroom. They had a really pretty red one with a gold pump. And then they also had a couple of other ones that were glass. They're like, they had some glass soap dispensers and then they had some, a couple of new other soap dispensers I showed. They also had a bunch of Ray Dunn bathroom stuff here. So they had the soap dishes, they had the soap dispensers, they even had, Ray Dunn has taken it to a whole new level of toilet brush holder. Holiday Ray Dunn toilet brush holders, y'all. Run, do not walk. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not making fun of you if you like it. I mean, we all, oh, you gotta deck the halls. Uh, anything else I'm missing I'll show here. Oh, they had these really cute, I remember, these uh, old-fashioned looking like traditional Christmas suitcases that were really cute and it said Merry Christmas on it, had an old school looking Santa on it. So anything extra that I know I'm forgetting I'll show here. Oh wait, no, 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 I know what it was. I saw a Christmas waffle maker, like the mini waffle makers and I saw once again Ray Dunn stepping up her game. There was a Ray Dunn coffee grinder coffee grinder that was Ray Dunn uh so there was a bunch of stuff like that and I'll tell you this the Ray Dunn stuff has definitely gone up in price so anyways then we went to Ross let's talk about Ross um they had some a couple of things at Ross their actual decor I wasn't super impressed by at this one um they had some ceramic stuff like cookie jars things like a snowman cookie jar they had like a was it a snowman nutcracker or just a nutcracker but it was very it was very definitely classic Christmas. They did have a cute robe that had stars all over it. That was really cute. It was like a navy blue with stars all over it. What else was there? Oh, a Snoopy pajama set. Um, and they did have a black item. They had this really pretty pillow. It was like a long pillow with, it was like silver or gold or silverish gold, uh, sparkly or uh, sequins snowflakes on this pillow it was like a faux fur pillow really pretty they had a couple of blankets just holiday blankets they had red and did they have a black one and that's why i was showing it it was black with ornaments on it maybe or maybe it was navy blue i can't remember but it was like a darker vibe they had red and white sherpa blankets they had some plaid they had red and black plaid or buffalo print they also had some shower curtains they had a shower curtain that did this had a cheetah wearing a Santa hat on it. Well, they were all over the whole thing. I feel like they had a couple other things and I'll show them here. Oh, they had some bakeware kind of stuff. Um, it was like little bakeware sets that, like this. So they had a sheet pan and like a whisk and a couple of things. Very classic kind of Christmas stuff. I did think the pillow was worth looking at. Um, I didn't get it cause I, I don't know. I'm going into home goods 2.0. We're going in. That was a disaster. My wallet is thankful for the line in there that was wrapped around the entire freaking store because it had a cart full of stuff. I mean, when I say it was wrapped around, I was like, oh, it's wrapped around a little bit, no big deal. Uh-uh, wrapped around the whole freaking store. There's a girl here carrying out some baskets. I saw her enter the line like 30 minutes ago. No way, nope. 
Mm -mm. Not today, Santa. <laughs> um, we're headed to Target, by the way. Uh, anyway, so there was a bunch of stuff on this this one shelf just a lot of different stuff they had nutcrackers they had santas they had trees all different types of trees so those acrylic trees they had once again all of those really creepy elves everywhere creepy elves all over the place they had uh little snow globes they had uh angels they had I mean literally anything that's Christmassy and that's also silver gold red white anything of that sort it's gonna be in this place I mean they had a ton of Christmassy stuff a couple things that stood out to me these acrylic nutcrackers which I had in my cart I liked them a lot enough to buy them and and decorate with them but not enough to stand in line for an hour just all sorts of stuff uh, in this area. Also really liked these white ceramic trees that were really pretty. And um, what else? Just, I liked a lot of the trees actually. Uh, a, lot, a lot of them were really pretty. Maybe I should straighten out. But in a little separate place, they had some vintage looking stuff. This vintage looking deer that was pink and it had a little tree coming out of its head. It was really cute, even though that sounds really weird. It was cute. Um, and they had a couple of other little things, gnomes, once again, lots of gnomes, again, uh, and just a lot of really cute, sparkly, metallic, not metallic, all the stuff. They also had this really cute hot cocoa mug with the topper, it was a Ray Dunn mug. They had a lot of the bakeware stuff that we saw at the last Home Goods. Actually, the last, or sorry, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, though, today had way more bakeware they just had the same, like this one had less, but the same kind of stuff, so I didn't show it. But they did have a couple of different dishware stuff. They had wine glasses that had this like red and green, almost looking like stained glass look to them. They had a, like a snowman cookie jar, or maybe it was like a canister thing. They had a couple of ceramic pieces that were snowmen, Santa's uh, holiday things. They also had like down their whole dishware area, they had a couple of new things. They had, once again, some canisters. They had a Ray Dunn red canister that said ho, ho, ho on it. They had some stacked mugs, a couple different stacked mugs. I want to say one was Santa that said believe. Some other dishes and dishware. They had a really cute Santa spoon rest. But yeah, they had some cute stuff in this area. I'll keep showing all of the dishware. There was a lot of stuff to see, and I don't know if I can remember all of it. Anyways, there was a lot to see. I think I also got some wreaths in here, so I'll show that. Also, they had some really cute trees that I forgot to mention at the last one so I'll just show it here they had some silver Christmas trees one was a metallic like sparkly tinsel very metallic -y and shiny silver tree and the other one was like a little bit more of like a pearly looking silver like not shiny and sparkly more like pearly I don't know how to describe it and they also had some Santas they were kind of I don't know like two or three feet tall Santas uh, that all had a different kind of theme going on with them. Uh, one was more rustic. One was more of like a classic Santa. One was like a bakery Santa. Oh, this person's going to pull right in front of me. We're going into Target, so. All right, Mr. Skeleton, we're leaving Target. And I saw one new thing in their decor, and it was a black item. They had two of them. It was like it was meant to be today. It is freaking hot, first of all. I need to take off this jacket because it's not happening today. Um, it's 67 degrees out. <laughs> I don't need to be wearing a leather jacket at all. Anyways, so they, the only new thing that they had that we saw, they had these deer, these reindeer. They were these black velvet looking or felt whatever deer. And that's all they had that was new. Kind of like a faded black, like a dark, 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 dark gray, but they were clearly black, but just not like jet black felty and that's kind of like the velvet look or the felt look is what gave it kind of the lighter shade when the light hits it but anyways deer reindeer and they were perfect so that was the only new thing we saw at target <laughs> nothing else everything else was there that we've seen um they weren't nearly as picked over so it looked like they got a little bit more stock in but yeah, I mean, they had all the stuff we saw last time. So if you missed the Target episode, that was the last episode. I'll put it in the description box for you. But that is it for today. That's it. Uh, we did some hunting. We saw what was out there. And it wasn't. All right, Mr. S Mr. Skeleton. There we go, sir. Get it together.
Hey everyone, it is another day holiday decor hunting with me and good old Santa skeleton. Sir, how you feeling today? We're going to some home improvement stores today to check them out. We're first gonna go out to Menards and see what they got. Uh, I really need to get some holiday like red container things. What do you call them? The big red tote things where you store your decorations. Um, I realized as I was kind of taking things out of my storage area and putting these away, I needed to get some Halloween ones this year and I didn't get them, which is not good at all. We never went back to Menards and I have, I'm going to be using some red totes for my Halloween stuff this year, I feel like until next year. Uh, but I need to get a couple of red ones because uh, last year I'd used just some regular ones or whatever, and I'm going to have to get something for my Halloween stuff. So I don't know what the situation is going to look like. I'm kind of hoping secretly that they have some Halloween ones left, but I, I doubt it. Or they got a late shipment in, or I don't know. So we're cruising out to, where are we going? We're going to Menards and we're going to Lowe's. It's freaking cold today. It's like, it says 46 degrees on the thing. But when I was getting ready this morning, it was 39 degrees. It was freaking cold. And Neens, poor little Neens, was freezing her little tush off out there today. Um, I mean, I don't leave her out there for very long, but she just does not like the cold. But the good news is, when it's cold out, my dogs are little angels. They do nothing but curl up and sleep in a bunch of blankets. So we're cruising to Menards. Anyway, so we're gonna see what's going on at Menards. Honestly, I bought a couple of things. I'll still do a holiday decor or Christmas decor haul, but I'm but I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really gotten a whole lot this year. It's been kind of I don't know what's going on. Is anyone else just not really feeling the decor this year? I don't know why I'm not feeling the decor. Maybe I just need to decorate. I think that's what happened last year. I think I started decorating and then I got excited and went out shopping. And then before that, I didn't really care about it. So I think I just need it to be Thanksgiving. I need to eat my feast first. And then I can go out Christmas decor hunting, I feel like. But then by then, everything's already picked over. We know how it works. Menards, here we come. We're coming for you. You better have some black Christmas decorations or else. I'm just kidding. Actually, I don't need anything. Just please don't have anything. <laughs> I need to really declutter all of my stuff, but... You know, we do that after the first of the year so we can just enjoy being our hoarder selves for the rest of the year in peace. <laughs> we have arrived at Menards. We're going in. Holy moly, it is colder than a witch's titty out there. <laughs> I love the season, I get to say that. Anyways, just left, or we're leaving right now, we're leaving Menards and you know what? I was pleasantly surprised by some of the items in there. The area I walked down first, they had a bunch of like outdoor kind of vintage looking plug-in, what do they call those? Blow mold kind of things. They had a snowman and a Santa, I want to say. They had a Rudolph. They had a Grinch. They had a Grinch and a couple other blow mold looking plug-in stuff for outdoors and a bunch of light up things like signs some Merry Christmas snowflakes all of these really bright light up things that you hang outside or against your house I don't know what are in your window I don't know what these things do they had some stocking holders they had some red and black buffalo print ones with black like outlined kind of uh, but it was a tree and snowflake that they had in this one. They also had a really pretty marble one. There was a star and I think they also had a tree where it was a marble stocking holder with this kind of gold hook thing. And then they had one that was an LED light snowflake stocking holder that looked really cool. Um, they had one other one, I can't quite remember what it was, but maybe it was wooden or something. They also had a ton of Christmas trees. I kind of just walked through them. They had white, they had flocked, they had sparkly, they had ones with all different lights that play music or go with your music. They like blink to your music, but they had a bunch of trees. I walked through the whole thing. It was really magical. They also had a whole area that had a bunch of tabletop and wall decor. All the different Christmas sayings from Merry Christmas to Merry and Bright to Holly Jolly. Uh, you know, all the different holiday 
sayings. They had some black in this area. They had a couple different black signs that said Merry Christmas. Did one say Holly Jolly, whatever, or something? Uh, but they did have some black signs. Some of them had like wood on them, so they're a little more farmhousey. Uh, and then they also had some other tabletop decor and wall decor. They also had gnomes, like a couple of ones that said they had a bunch of gnome stuff in general. I'll just show all the gnomes here because there was a bunch of gnomes to see. They had some pastel stuffed gnomes. They had classic Christmas color gnomes, red and green. And they also had some uh, really pretty lanterns of all different sizes, larger lanterns that were red, lanterns that had uh, different sprigs and holiday like pine cones and all like the mistletoe kind of stuff on them. And they had some old school looking lanterns that were really cool. And then they had one that had this really cool traditional looking Christmas, like a really old school looking Santa on it. Very vintage looking. Also in this area, in this decor area, they had a couple more black items. They had uh, some velvet black Christmas trees that were really cool. Like they were ceramic trees with velvet over top of them. Really cool. They also had uh, a black and white cone tree, like check print cone tree. They also had some little black houses, kind of like what we saw at Target. They had the bigger ones. Well, I'd say they're more like medium sized ones. And then they had smaller ones, but they didn't have the black in the smaller ones there. They had the red and white but you could tell that there was an area where the black was. So they also had some nutcrackers, some glittery nutcrackers. They had silver, they had red and blue, they had green and uh, red, they had gold, they had, they had a really cool lantern looking thing that had, it was like a snow globe in the shape of a lantern that was really pretty and it had deer and like a whole scenery in it. They had a couple more traditional things like uh, snowmen and just different figurines, Santas, those types of things that were just not, super eventful, uh, but more just traditional kind of Christmas stuff. And anything else I'm forgetting in this area, I'll continue to show, but then they had this little center area that just had a bunch of like a smorgasbord of Christmas stuff, all different colors, all different patterns, all the different stuff. They had anything from Buffalo print stuff. They had black, this is where I saw the black velvet trees. They also had a red velvet tree. They also had, uh, what else? They had reindeer and Santas and, uh, they had little stuffed looking trees. It was just a smorgasbord of stuff in this area. Mainly tree stuff and reindeer kind of stuff. They also had some blow up things. They had a uh, blow up, I don't know what they were playing, hockey or snowmen playing hockey or something maybe. They had a Santa that was turned upside down so his legs were in the air. A Christmas tree and then a couple other things. I can't remember, but they were like Christmassy. And oh, they also had a black little mini tree like a little black Christmas tree. I think that's pretty much it. Whatever I'm forgetting, I'll continue to show here. Yeah, now we're going into Lowe's to see what they got. All right, Mr. Skeleton, we're leaving Lowe's. There was literally nothing there. I mean, there was stuff there, but not a lot. Um, they had mainly like outdoor uh, light stuff. Like I'll show you the twinkling pretty lights they had. They had light up snowflakes and icicles and different creative lights and stuff that were really pretty. But last year they had all these different, like just a ton of different decor and they had a couple of different lines and this year they didn't. They did have some pillows, one had dogs that I was really excited about because I always love seeing dogs. Speaking of dogs, I saw two dogs in Lowe's and a dog at Menards. So it's the day of the dogs, y'all. But anyways, they had a pillow with dogs on it. They had a pillow that said Merry Christmas that was red or had like a little patch on it. Uh, they had one that said Merry Christmas. Uh, one said, let it snow or something like that. Um, they did have a lot of outdoor stuff though. Outdoor little reindeer with the lights and the kind of wicker look to them. Uh, they also had snowmen. They had Santa stuff. They had a little pig that was holding a candy cane maybe. I don't know, it was kind of cute though. A wreath or something like that. Um, this really pretty white branchy tree that was really cool uh, that I got visuals of that I was really, I was like, ooh man, that's actually really pretty. They also had some Mickey Mouse stuff. They had or like Mickey and Minnie Disney stuff. They had uh, a couple of blow molds, but there was like a ladder in front of this area, just sitting right in front of it. So I couldn't get a really good visual. They had a Mickey and Minnie blow mold. They had a couple of stuffed Mickey and Minis. They had a wreath that was a Mickey shaped wreath. 
they had some lights too uh, and a bunch of really really pretty Christmas trees really pretty Christmas trees yeah that's pretty much all we saw at Lowe's I don't know that there was anything else that was it it was kind of a disappointing not actually Menards had a good amount of black stuff I was shocked so I'm not totally mad at the day I, oh, I've been forgetting to do my outfits of the day. Yesterday wasn't fancy. Today is not fancy. We're doing like full on sweatshirt leggings day to day because I'm just, where do I turn? Quick outfit of the day. I already took my hat off. I walked in and just ripped it off. Um, I'm putting it back on. Different day, same hat. <laughs> As always, the most casual outfit today. I am definitely in comfy mode. Didn't put on lashes, eyeliner, anything today. I did wear my lips though. Went for a, uh, I think this is some... It's a really old one. I think it's an old, old, wet and wild one from like when they did this romantic line, but it's still, I don't know, it still feels fine on the lips and the texture is still fine. So I, I'm using it. Anyways, wearing this sweatshirt from Alien Body, mullet guy, Alice Cooper situation and a black and white striped shirt underneath. This is like a long line, super cozy thermal shirt. Got it from the men's section at H&M years ago and I love it. Also wearing my favorite leggings from Target right now. Um, and a this is a scarf from Zara. So wearing all the layers today. It's my favorite kind of layer day. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for holiday decor hunting with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't give it a thumbs up, say hey, cool, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, I hope you're having an amazing holiday season. Let me know if you're finding anything out there, any decor, where to go, what to see. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.